guys, another very quick review of the of a multi tool. I have wanted to to get this one for quite a while, and I know you can find on the internet probably gazillion gazillion re reviews of this uh, Leatherman tool. I decided to do an unboxing one myself. I've been uh, I've been wanting to get one for quite a while. It was just uh, it was just paying the full the full price for this, as opposed to you know all the army police enforcement and all the others that are getting it for fifty percent off. So that that was bothering me. And conceptually, with Letterman, that bothers me a lot that they're able to sell this to sell any of their product at 50% off to law enforcement and military. I have huge problem with that. Um, I don't know if you were uh, if you were in the army or you have been in the police or whatever. I don't think you should pay 50% of what I'm paying um, for a multi-tool. This policy to me it's against normal what is considered normal in trade and commercial practices but and that that's why that's why i don't have too many leatherman leatherman tools i have a top version that maybe i can use in times of dire distress let's say if we have a pandemic no not a pandemic because i didn't carry the, the, the last pandemic because it was too bulky to do anything but Frankly speaking, I want a multi-tool to be something like this, to be cheap, so I'm not mindful about breaking the blade or whatever. If something goes wrong, I can just immediately throw this in the can and buy another one. That's, that's how they have been designed historically. Multi-tools have been designed to, to, to do this job that's in between professional or just regular tool like normally if you do something around your house you'll have a tool you'll have pliers you have file you have everything so those were meant pretty much to do things when you're outside your home like on a camping or something like that and somehow they have become a they have become they have grown at least letterman's they have become like a big collector's item you have to you have to have every model or you have to to have the top version it's like the swiss army knives you, you must have the one that has everything and it's like that thick so i wanted to see for myself the lettermans i mean in the mid in the mid size um, the mid the mid version or the smallest type and this is uh, pretty much comparative to to this Gerber uh, NXT that maybe it's not that sophisticated it doesn't have this nylon pouch because let's face it who will do nylon pouch on their belt normally you'd you can put this thing on either your belt or in your pocket with this this clip and use it the other thing is like I have this this square piece here that they can put like sleeves on it at the same time and put bits on it and it has like a full sized he has a full sized you know screwdriver uh, and those are lockable so let's take let's take a look of the bolster um, they sell it full price at Costco I believe this is around 40 bucks so let's do a quick unboxing and and see if this is worth the money at all i mean i don't think so frankly speaking um i really don't don't pay too much attention to to you know to things like that i really don't care about i really don't care about whether my tool is gerber or whether it's gerber or whether it's SOG or whether it's Letterman, I really couldn't couldn't care less. To me, a tool, a multi-tool is a multi-tool, and that's it. I really don't give a rat's ass whether it's 
whether it's this brand or that brand or whether they have historically been the brand for multi-tools but whatever so they're advertising 13 tools 25 year warranty now that's a step down from the lifetime warranty and the model number is 1510126 so 13 tools 25 year warranty made in the USA made in the USA with US and global parts now this is the thing that really really I liked 420 HC stainless steel so if you look at this version this version it is a good steel it's a good steel uh, let's face it it is it is not fragile steel it is very good composition for for a tool meaning you'll bend it but then you'll be able to fix it especially especially uh, especially this or the knife I was surprised how soft the knife was like this one but at the same time you are dulling it and you can immediately sharpen it sharpen it to almost razor razor blade finish obviously i didn't do a good job here but never never on the description of uh, of the gerber multi-tools you'll find something like this here 420 hc it would say something like stainless steel or tool steel or whatever but never never uh detailed description well easy to carry of course it is easy to carry spring action pliers now that's something good and you can't really find a lot of lettermans that have spring action pliers and this is one of the reason the reasons why i'm not buying i'm not buying um i'm not buying lettermans because to me a company that sells sells their version at the top price on the market not having a spring action so you you can't really operate it one hand like this to me this is garbage this is garbage design no matter what kind of steel this is this is a garbage design so i think even the cheapest tools have spring action it's all built into the pivot here it is not much of a big deal but saving having a top model and saving saving on the model itself um, just by not putting a spring inside is like ridiculous so a lot of a quick few points that kind of you know kind of brought me in on this one first it was affordable for a change compared to all the other all the other models that they have all the other varieties that they have was the description of the steel that is made in the USA that has spring spring loaded pliers spring action pliers and of course outside accessible blade so let's take a look at it now the first thing the first things first so it is really lightweight it is this thing is very lightweight and um, compared to this this is definitely heavier i don't have very good scales here to to do precise measurement but it is noticeably lighter which i really like because when i need stuff like this i really don't want it to be a point of consideration for me what's the weight really like that it has this clip so i can either carry it with the pouch and i really like letterman's pouch they really do good pouches i mean this is a quality that you can use for 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 lifetime believe me so and most of all i really like the the clip the clip is like fantastic this is this is a very good clip that you can use on like magazine pouches and um and holsters and stuff like this i really like this design i believe this is a proprietary thing so not a lot of companies especially u.s companies are copying this but it is a fantastic design for for this clip so very lightweight and i really that's what i really like and i really like one thing that it's asymmetrical meaning i can flip around like this thing is curved a little bit 
so I can have a better better purchase like this if I if I need a specific job done that that would require my my ha hand to be a little bit more front and then I can flip it around and I can use the straight piece on on the palm of my hand and have a better grip like this so it is it is a good design this design I really like this design because it it offers different functionality like this one is more comfortable gripping it further back where this one is more comfortable gripping it up front and doing something more more precise with it really like that feature uh, Frankly speaking, the pliers are not not the best uh, the best in 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 terms of how sturdy they are. But frankly speaking, I wouldn't need them to be sturdy. Let let me show you those. Yep. Do you see the comparison? Oh, come on, focus. You can do it. Yep. So those are really needle nose pliers. They're very small. Oh, come on. They're very small, and that's that's exactly what I need on a multi tool. I don't need like a big, big beefy pliers because why would I need them in the first place? If I'm if I am in a situation where I need big pliers, probably I wouldn't use that. Of course, there are people who use that all the time. They could use like Gerber. They have a version that has like what's what was it three sixty that has like big beefy beefy pliers. I have that, but frankly speaking. I don't really know, use it. Letterman also have the same thing. I don't really use that, or I can't really find a use for it. All I need is like needle nose, needle nose pliers that are reasonably needle nose, and that are beefy enough to be sturdy, so I don't break them. Like like you see, my hands, I I have XL type gloves, and I can put a lot of force on this. Probably I would be able to bend this with if I grab it two hands and press really tight. Probably I would be able to bend this, but again, it is a very sturdy tool. It's not meant to to be used and abused like uh, it's not meant to be used and abused like with fierce, fierce. I don't know, fierce strength and sheer force. Um, the knife, I really like the design of the knife. Most of all. I design. I like the design that it's lockable. I I really think that to in modern multi tool to have a non lockable design it's like a disaster waiting to happen. All right, let's see. It is what is it? The edge area is about two inches, two inches and a half. Very good. Very sharp sharp blade razor sharp and that would stay at 420 hc that would stay sharp for a long time uh 420 hc is known to be a little bit brittle so be careful around metal objects with this blade um, definitely a good feature that it is uh, it is lockable i really like that um yeah very very few very few uh, very few companies that are doing that have 420 HC are are using that are having 420 HC are using are using it on you know on on blades that are that thin. This blade is is definitely not the thickest of them all. Let's see in millimeters. Let's see if I can focus this. It's about what close to two millimeters, even less. But it is really nice and it's accessible on the outside. When would you need it? Like you'll carry this and then you can just flip it. And of course, it's a little bit tight right now because it's brand new. I just took it out of the packaging, but it's going to become a little bit looser with use. Um, very good, very good. I really, I really like this. Uh, I really like this uh, this setup. I really like the the clip that you can uh, you can carry it. And let's see the competitor. Uh, the competitor is the main competitor. It's a bit longer. Uh, look how wider it is compared to 
to this one. And the, the two pretty much do the same thing. I mean, you won't be able to find like gazillion of um, different um, different things on one and not on the other. Like both have this large flat flat head or pry bar or whatever. Um, this is a little bit subpar in my opinion, but it will get the job done. Um, maybe it's not something to force it like brute force, but it is nice to it is a nice thing to have. None of them are lockable, but they require quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of force to to like close. If you're if you're really putting your force on it, it can lock or it can tilt like up to here and that's it. So it won't bend, it won't hurt your fingers or something like that. Um, very good, very good design, very good polishing. I really like that. Um, on the other one, you have on the other side, you have quite uh, quite a lot of um, things like lanyard hole. This is really flimsy, um, but how strong you need it on a lanyard hole, to be to be honest. This is actually a spacer that's been utilized as lanyard hole. Um, can opener, frankly speaking, I don't know in what situation I'll need can opener. A lot of people are saying like for camping and stuff like that, you would need can, can opener. Uh, I think they're producing most of the cans right now with just pre-cut uh, pre uh, lids, so you just flip it, flip it open. Uh, but again, it's it's good thing to have. You can pry stuff with that. You can I don't know. Use it as a gut wrencher or something like that. I really don't know. I never used. Frankly speaking, I never in my life ever used um, can opener on a multi tool or on a Swiss Army knife. So file here. So it's not crosscut. It doesn't seem like crosscut. It seems like only angled cut here, but the feel is very aggressive. Um, not having a microscope to kind of show you, it's really doesn't give it enough good description. Now this is this is really good. Uh, the file is really aggressive without being too too much yeah the edges now those go all all the way to the edge the edge has specifically not been not been uh, you know rounded off in a bath of uh, like pebbles or something like that so this is really sharp Probably for a couple of times you can use to use it to score like metal stuff uh, on both sides, and you have a small head screwdriver. You have inches and centimeter ruler on the other on the other side. I don't know why what use people find for those, but if it have if you have this area, it's nice to have it. Again, not blockable. And I saw one thing that I really liked here. Uh, let me see and try to bring it up. All right, so this little thing. So it is nice to have this. It's not it's not lockable, but it looks like uh, this serrated blade, which is perfect for cutting rope and stuff like that. So um, very good thing. You have to watch out again. It's not it's not very thick. And at the same time, it's not pointy at the end because you'll chip it very easily. But at the same time, you can use this sharp, sharp end as all. And sometimes you need an all, like most often you need an all. Again, very good tool. I'm glad it didn't cost me an arm, a leg, my children, and a kidney to, to obtain this. And I plan to use and abuse it until, um, until it falls apart. I'm glad that they haven't put like a proprietary shit here, a proprietary stuff. It's just uh, regular Torx. 
uh, Torx screwdriver, Torx bolts, um, probably you need to heat up those in order to take them apart and change the tools. But again, I think it has, it has everything, it has everything that you might need. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.